Welcome back to the MLS Zone, and you know, as what the video say, we are going to speak upon the Western Conference. But before the video start, I would like to say thank you for anybody that hit the like button on the Eastern Conference video. It really pushed me to do the Western Conference. And as normal, please hit the like button now just to show appreciation. I put a lot of effort into this video, and I know you put a lot of effort into that like button. But let's get into it. And intro. on Instagram and yes we have an Instagram page and I will be putting the page right up here you could go there and get all the Instagram MLS news every time every day every hour but a fan hit me up and was like hmm MLS zone do you know that this year Vancouver Whitecaps will win the Western Conference division <laughs> Yeah, that that was my response. Like, what? Well, let me get into the video. Just a little food for thought while I get into this video. And you could comment down below. Do you think Vancouver Whitecaps could win the Western Conference division? I, I just I just can't seem to understand that. I can't. But okay, the first team we'll be kicking off for preseason signing for the Western Conference. I have to. Give it to Colorado Rippers. Now they signed a midfielder. His name is Youngness. Now he is a okay midfielder. I am not going to say he is the new midfielder that Inter Milan just brought in from the Liga Max division. I am not going to say that, but he has some good qualities. Let me tell you why I say he has some good qualities. In 10 games, he had one goal and one assist. Now, he played in one of, one of the top divisions, so he can bring quality to the team. That is the first team that brought in somebody that is worthy to bring to you guys and i know you guys were saying in the last video that i didn't really mention every team but not every team new signing is worth mentioning but if you feel like your team is left out say it in the comment section we could debate it do he deserve to be on the video does that team really deserve to be in the video next team will be dallas yes fc dallas they have brought in franco Yes, now Franco is a well-round striker. I have to give it to Franco. He is quality. Yes, he is quality. Well, not Carlos Villa quality, but let's say Diego Rossi quality. Yes, he is quality. In seven games, he banged in four goals. And yes, he is from Liga Max. He's quite on the older side, but that means he has experience. And as we know, FC Dallas need experience. Even in the top or the midfield. But top as a striker, I think he will do well at FC Dallas. The third thing we'll be discussing will be LAFC. Yes, I know I have a lot of LAFC fans. And you will never guess who we'll be talking about. Bradley Wright Phillips. Yes, crazy so. He has... Join LAFC. I know it was a move that I was not thinking was going to happen and was not thinking there was any hope of it to be true. Just imagine Wright Phillips, Diego Rossi, and Villa in that top three lineup. Strikers up top, lethal. Tear apart any defenders. And I know some of you guys are going to say Bradley Wright Phillips is not the same since 2017-16. Yes, we get it. But he does have all those experience of banging in goals. So when time comes for him to bang in goals, he shall bang in goals. Um, now, the fourth team we'll be talking about is Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, I know, it's a little joke. Stupid joke, but it's a little joke. Now, this fourth thing we'll be talking about is LA Galaxy. Yes, and I think you guys know because it's been covered so much, but this guy is the little Mexican. 
Yes, we're talking about Chicho Rito. No, it's a joke, it's a joke, joke. Yes, it's Chicho Rito. Um, what's that? Yeah, he's a quality player. He he is a quality player. Um, but the stats that I'm gonna tell you for him is not really going to depict how much of a quality player he is because he fell off in the top division of football in Europe two to three seasons back. So his stats is for nine games he scored one goal. Now you're gonna say, what? Is this what LA Galaxy is really hyped about? To be honest, they should be hyped. This guy is lethal in front of the goal at all times. Don't sleep on him. It's like sleeping on Carlos Zilla. It's like sleeping on Joseph Martinez. And if you agree, tell me, should you sleep on Chicharito? Should they really? Comment down below. Should they really sleep on Chicharito? Now, the fifth team that we'll be talking about is Nashville. Yes, they have acquired Zimmerman. Yeah, Walker Zimmerman from LAFC. He is no longer an LAFC. He is a Nashville player. Now, this was a great move for Nashville because I believe inauguration teams don't normally plug in good defenders for their first year. But it seems like Nashville's idea is to stack the back of good quality defenders and then sort out the midfield and the strike strikers later on. Which, I find that to be more of a good quality team. Keep the back line strong, you could build the midfield, and then you could get some good quality strikers. Now, I think that's a good move from Nashville. Do you agree? If you do, let me know in the comment section. Now, the sixth team will have to be Kansas City. Yes, they have got the West Ham center back. You heard me right, the West Ham center back. Winston Reed. Yes, the 30-year-old Australian has joined Kansas City. Now, I don't sleep on this guy because I remember when I was watching West Ham in 2017, he was a beast. So, initially, he will be a beast here as well. The guy played, let's say, 17 games and got five clean sheets. Now, yes, it's not only him that controls that back line because there's sometimes four to three defenders that's in a team back line. But he is the man at the wheel. As they will normally say, he holds the back line together. And that's what he would do with Kansas City because last year Kansas City was just a disaster. They need somebody like him. To be honest, as a Manchester City fan, I will call him the Vincent Company of that team. Well, let's see. But as normal, what I am here to say is I want to put out my prediction for the year. You know, what I would say like the Western, the Eastern Conference prediction for 2020. If you guys want that video, please let this video go over 20 likes. It's not much. I see that my average view for the videos is normally around 90 to 100 views in five days now i am very appreciative of that and i really applaud you guys for coming back every video every week every day to come and watch my video because we know i am not the prettiest and so are you but as normally stay safe love you guys and i'll see you next time peace